Hi, this is Zidane Tutorials and in this video we are going to understand and execute the difference between a clipping mask and opacity mask in Adobe Illustrator. So I will get started with the clipping mask. Uh, it's an object whose shape masks other artworks so that only areas that lie within the object shape are visible. Anyway, that's um, a formal definition. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly show you how it works and then we can get into the uh, some important details later. So how clipping mask work is let me draw a rectangle and whatever area I will cover of my original shape the circle with this rectangle. Okay. So now what I will do is I will select both of these my clipping mask or the object which I'm going to treat as a mask should be on the top so and the color does not matter it could be in any color so what I will do I will right click on it and I will select this option make clipping mask and once I will click on it here we go so now as you can see the part of the circle which is visible to us now is the one which is uh, being overlapped by the clipping mask or the rectangle which I drew to be used as a clipping mask and uh, the good thing about clipping mask is that it has not actually removed the half part of my object or circle it has simply hidden it from us so at any point I can select this shape and right click on it and release clipping mask so that's how simple it is so at any point I can release the clipping mask and get my original shape back now before I get into the details and applications of clipping mask I will jump right to opacity mask so that we understand the difference first and then we can discuss the uh, other stuff later so an opacity mask is an object that you place over an existing shape to control its transparency based on black and white in our mask. So what I'm going to do uh, in case of opacity mask is that I will again draw a rectangle on top of it and this time I will cover it entirely. And once it's done, oh, make sure that this rectangle is in the right layer and it must be on top of our existing object like this okay so once you have uh, this rectangle on top of your existing one you need to um, make it gradient instead of a, a simple color so I will click here to convert it into a gradient but not just simple gradient as you can read here it is going to control the transparency based on black and white in it so what I'm going to do now is I will convert this gradient into black and white from this here white and black so here we go and I can adjust the gradient um, how it works like at the moment it's black on the top and white in the bottom and I can reverse it or I can change the angle even this setting these settings anyway I'm keeping it white on the top and black at the bottom. Now what this opacity mask uh, is going to do is uh, it's going to show me the areas uh, in a gradient way or gradual way the white areas will be visible to us and as it will start getting darker 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 uh, it will start hiding the object under this mask so let me show you how so I will select both shapes that's a very important step both of these must be selected and the opacity mask must be on the top then I will go to the transparency tool now um, make sure if you don't have this gradient and transparency tool here you can find these or uh, you can access these from the window menu and here you will find uh, the transparency here and uh, the gradient also here so you can access these from this menu anyway so for the gradient uh, like I have already selected the, I've created the object uh, and I have uh, covered it with a gradient shape then I have uh, selected both of these now I will go to transparency tool and here I will click make mask and here we go 
now you can see it has created a mask on it and if you will notice it's showing me the top of the circle very clearly and as it gets to the bottom it start uh, it start hiding it because we have black in the bottom and white on the top and to make it more clear let me get into the details or settings of my gradient now if I go to the transparency and I pick this one and then I go to the gradient here it will show me the this gradient now if I make it sharp enough like this you can see now my shape is more clear and it's only hiding this part and if I go to this direction now you can see my shape is getting less visible from the bottom because now majority of the area is being covered by black color and let me make it feel black I'll go to RGE and let's call it 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. that's pure black so a pure black has hidden uh, the bottom part bottom area of my original circle sun shape or circle shape so that's how the opacity mask work uh, it's pretty simple and uh, it's um, it, it can be pretty uh, quite helpful in making transparent uh, illusions and illustration so you can make this gradient sort of uh, shapes uh, using the opacity mask and you can at any point like I showed you you can select this and you can go to the gradient or it's very important that you pick which part you want to uh, edit for example if you want to edit the original shape if it, if it has a gradient of its own then you will click here and then you will go to the gradient and you can modify this one and if you want to edit the mask then you will select this and then you will go to the gradient and here you can modify whatever you want now you uh, might notice this weird situation here in your layer panel uh, when after using the opacity mask it's because um, uh, as you can see I, I am unable to select any other object other than my opacity mask object it's because uh, in the transparency tool I have select the layer mask so only this part is being edited in Adobe Illustrator so in order to get back I will pick select this one and now you can see all my normal layers are appearing and they are back to the normal situation so that was about the opacity mask and now moving back to clipping mask uh, and just to give you uh, a preview what we did was we created a rectangle like this on top of our ellipse I will select them both and then I just right click make clipping mask that is how simple it was and at any point if I go uh, in deep into my layers and I pick this uh, mask the clipping mask I can modify it and you can see as I am uh, adjusting it it is uh, my original shape is being hidden or being shown to us accordingly so this is how a clipping mask work now what I'm going to do is at the moment I'm going to disable um, this I'm going to release the clipping mask right click release clipping mask and I will remove this layer for now so I'm going to show you some other applications of uh, using clipping mask and it's not just about a rectangle I could use any shape for example I'm going to pick a white color, let's see, a star, and I will draw it here, and I will put it here. So now I can again uh, select both of these, keeping the mask on the top, right click, make clipping mask. And now you can see my mask has actually masked the, the bottom one in its shape. So this is one application. Uh, what I meant to show you was that clipping mask is not just about a rectangle. It could be any shape, it could be any path, and uh, it will simply um, 
make a boundary of the object below it once both of them are selected and right click and uh, make left mask okay i'm going to release it and on the last uh, important part i want to show you before let me first remove the previous mask okay now another application which is uh, quite commonly used is using text for clipping mask uh, the way we use uh, layer mask in photoshop so what i'm going to do now i'm going to type a letter here and so let's go with x i will increase increase its size put it here and before using it as a clipping mask i'm going to create outlines to do that i will simply right click and go to create outlines now it is no more a text and it is just uh, we can use it like we use any shape so i will keep it on the top i will keep my original circle in the bottom i will select both of these in the same way right click make clipping mask and here we go so this is pretty much about clipping mask and you can use the same technique for text uh, using the opacity mask just make sure uh, that your gradients in the uh, you have selected the pure black one which has a code uh, 000 and um, it, uh, otherwise if you will use some lighter version of black uh, your shape will behave accordingly so that's it hope uh, i hope it was helpful and uh, you will be able to understand the difference between clipping mask and opacity mask and how to use both of them in your projects thank you